What's up everybody, Typical Gamer here with part 52 of the GTA 5 first person mode walkthrough. And today we're here with, oh my gosh. Why does something like this always happen to start the video up? Okay, so, so we're here with part 52 and we're doing the movie premiere mission. I believe it's Meltdown. I can never get the name right. I think it's Meltdown. But we gotta go and get a suit, I believe, from the fancy store over here. Let me check if the adder is over here real quick. The adder is not here. There's a fancy Turismo though. No, that's Jester. My bad. Alright. Let's park the car over here. We gotta pay for the meter. Throw in a couple cents. Oh. I overshot it. Okay. Whoopsie. I should put away my gun. Dad, I'll be at Possum by as soon. I've got a ride. You better get a badass bad. tux. What did you say to me, Co? Okay, I gotta get a tuxedo. Do I get it here? I think tuxedos are over here. Oh, yes, they are. The little yellow dots on the radar suggest that. I must get the tuxedo. I can't get anything else. Okay. Tuxedo it is. Oh, change the daytime. Back to nighttime, damn. Looking slick. The producer does not drive himself to the premiere. Come on. Aw, Jimmy, that was nice of you. Well, this is gonna be cool in first person. Thanks, the Jimmy. Oriental Theater on Vinewood Boulevard. Open that champagne, Jimbo. Woohoo! Me and the big dog getting our drink on. Hey, hey, where are you going with that? Woo! My dad's a movie producer! Jimmy, get back down here! Which makes me a movie producer's kid! Damn it, Jimmy. For some reason, I can't go first person. Jimmy! So don't think I'm, I'm like... I'm gonna out the next two recessions without ever having to work. And I'm gonna get a sports car and a drug habit before appearing on Reality Rehab Show. And then, I'm gonna sell my story and become really judgmental. And... I'm going to use all the contacts I make in treatment programs to become a producer, too. And I'm going to make even shittier movies than my dad does. Because I don't care about movies like him. For me, it's just an opportunity thing. Woo! Yeah! You see the Strizz Edge losers? Jizzle in the movie bizzle. Hear that, Vinewood? You hear that, Vinewood? Damn, Jimmy. Hey, I hear it, and I don't like it. We're going to the Oriental Theater on Vinewood Boulevard! Get back down here! And not to, like, gawk at celebrities from behind a barrier. We're actually, like, properly invited! V to the I to the P! Jimmy! Read my neck rolls! Entitled! E-N-T! Uh, titled! Cause I am! Jimmy! Oh, Pop, chill! I'm done spraying this shizzle! Let's take a drink. Damn, Jimmy, you're ruthless. Oh, Devin. Um, not sure if I should answer Jimmy, this. Jimmy, shut up a second. Hey, Devin, look. I need to say about Molly, man. I'm sorry, but I didn't do it. I told you to slow it down, slick. It was an accident. I was there, but I had nothing to do with it. Sure, yeah, hey. You made a fool out of me, Michael, and that is something I'm not going to forget. Look, Devin, I said I'm sorry. I feel bad for you, but you don't threaten me, because this movie's happening, all right? So let's just calm down and try to be friends again. Oh, absolutely, Slick. Forgive and forget. Namaste. Hey, we're here. The red carpet. Oh, cool. What's up, Jimmy? <laughs> okay, let's get out of the car. Let's walk the red carpet, son. You know, I'm really proud of you, even though you did make a pretty shitty movie. Well, thank you, Jim. Where are the girls? Uh, they're at home. You know, they'll uh, express their pride by showing up really late. Uh, of course they will. And uh, have you ever uh, thought maybe I shouldn't shoot sex scenes in a green screen kind of environment? Yeah, yeah, it's, uh, the thought is uh, across my mind, I suppose. Thanks, Antonio. Hey, Give me nice and tight. Never... Hey, it's Laszlo on the red carpet of Meltdown. Some big stars, some beautiful dresses. We're gonna see some side boot tonight. Come on. We did it! 
Salma! We fucking did it! Fucking A! <laughs> Fuck you, fate! I may be a lecherous old has-been, but I'm a has-been with a premiere at the Oriental Theater on Vinewood Boulevard. I'll see you in there, kid. Hey, thanks. Enjoy the picture, everyone! Mr. Richards! Mr. Richards, hi. If I could just bother you for a second. Um, I'm Laszlo from uh, Famer Shame, um, but I do some acting on the side. I was wondering if... Uh... Oh, yeah, of course. You should come see me, kid. I think I got a project that would be perfect for you. Oh, that's fantastic. It's called The Closet. Really modern stuff. <laughs> Pervert. Come on. No, 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 no. Let's go over She's here. lying, okay? I never had surgery. Come on. Milton, Milton, hi. Sorry to bother you. Quick question. Get in here tight. Um, love, love, loved the movie. Oh, thank you so much. I appreciate it. When, when you were that polar bear and you had to eat your baby, I mean, that okay. was... Okay. All right, Jesus Christ. That was emotional. Stick and I just have a oh. hug. That really affected me. All right, I gotta go. Thank you so much. Excuse me. Excuse me. Come on. Come on, let's get in there. Ah, Laszlo. Oh, shit. Come on, shit dick. <laughs> <laughs> Where the hell is she? Looks like she stood you up. Hey, hope I'm not too late. I wouldn't miss this for the world. Devin, the fuck are you doing here? Hey, what a movie, huh? Meltdown. Congratulations, Mikey. We did it. Hey, let's get a picture, huh? You, me, the proud producer. Such a pleasure working with you. You see? I was here, unlike your wife. Seems to be stuck at home. <laughs> you twisted fuck! You're a dead man! Let's go, Jim, come on! Hold on! Where's Mom and Tracy? Come on! The girls might be in trouble at the house! You got two minutes to sacrifice yourself to your family, dickhead. Alright, we're gonna steal his car because we're not taking the slow limo. Oh jeez. This rich asshole is pissed off at me because I didn't shit can the movie. And then his lawyer died and, and he just told me he's gonna hurt your mom. You killed his lawyer? And now he's gonna kill mom and Tracy? He ain't gonna do anything if I gotta say in it. But you fucking killed his lawyer? No, I didn't. It was an accident. I would never do anything to put you in danger. Shit. Alright, okay. They'll be fine. They're tough. Oh shoot. Keep talking, Jimmy. They're tough. This is just a movie guy, right? He, he's not a gangster or anything. No, he's not a gangster. He's just extremely rich. He says he's got all these connections. I'm sure it's just talk. That's not a family car. Uh -oh. Alright, Jimmy, you keep yourself concealed. I'll go get the girls. Run, Jimmy. Gotta save him, Pop. Run, Jim. Where's Jimmy going? He's going for the backyard. Okay. How should I go into this? Daddy's home, oh, you pricks! Get off her! Uh, one of them's in with Tracy. We gotta get in there, Michael. He's in there with our girl. Oh shoot! The switch up. Stay here. Keep your heads down. Be safe, baby. Don't you worry about me. Clear the house. Definition All of epicness. Gotta take him down. You don't mess with Fire Michael's family. Oh shoot! They got a grenade. Not yet. Stay put. Neither do I. Just keep calm. I'm fine. Trace, just stay down, sweetie. I told you to fuck it. Over. me cover. Take them all down. I love how destructible his house is, and it's specifically for this mission too. No one's gonna kill you. Daddy's got this. Oh, that guy's not falling down. Oh gosh, that's bloody. Oh shoot. Mall them all down. Wow, the pool looks am it looks amazing right now. Oh, I got distracted. Oh shoot. My property, asshole. 
Eat it! Oh, there goes Tracy's car. That was Tracy's car, right? And two for two. I'm gonna bury you in this car. Where's this last guy? Get out of my Through car. the car. I guess this wasn't the last mission to get it, or maybe it was. To get the Amer with their Jeeps. Alright, go to my family. Wow, they got wrecked. Merriweather. Do not come at Train. Michael. Oh, I got you, you dick. Oh, uh, it's gonna be alright. <laughs> no, it's not. What was that? Someone there? I'm gonna start shooting. <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> Jimmy. <laughs> yeah, you like Tea bag it, him. You, huh? Take it off. <laughs> So you sit on his face? It's called teabagging? I really fucked him up good, though, huh? All right, listen, I'm gonna make a call. It's all gonna be okay. Stay put. Wow, that was intense. That's actually one of my favorite missions. I just love how action-packed it is. That is Meltdown. And Tier 1 Operator. I'm not sure what I had to do there. Maybe kill people without getting shot or... Get headshots, probably. I'm not sure what that is. Let's see how this plays out, though. Because Michael should be pretty pissed, and Devin's not very happy. They came to my house, Lester. My house! So I asked Amanda and the kids to move out for a few days. Well, I hate to say it, but Merriweather isn't short on excuses to come and kill you. Or is Devin Weston? I ain't looking for perspective, Lester. They came after my family. All right. To say, does this change where you stand on the Union Depository? Hell no. We move on that right away. Before it gets any hotter. Uh, that's smart. Uh, meet me at the strip joint. I'll get word to Frank and Trevor. Damn, Michael means business. I don't know why I'm at Del Piero. But it is absolutely stunning out here. GTA 5 on the PS4 looks absolutely incredible. I know I've said this a ton of times. I don't know if the YouTube video does it any justice, but... Just so much more added to the game. I mean, I love that on Xbox 360 and PS3, but just look at this. Wow. Yeah, so that was a great mission. I had a ton of fun with that one. I love the destructible environment in Michael's house. It makes you wonder where GTA 6 is going to be with all the destructible environment. Do you think a lot of things are going to be destructible like Battlefield? Or how do you think you guys, how do you think they're going to do that? Because I can, this is just incredible. I can only imagine what GTA 6 is. But let's not think of that yet. We have plenty of DLC and content coming. I'm sure a Red Dead game will come out before then soon. Or before then, just in general. Let's see what Amanda has to say. Michael! Did you find them? Who? The person who sent the mercenaries to our house. I'm working on it. Are we safe? You said we would be safe. He's not gonna try that again. I'm on top of this, Amanda. Trust me. Really? You're sure? I'm positive. Look, I love you, baby. I'm gonna take care of this. Damn, Michael's serious this time. But yeah, like I was saying, a Red Dead game will probably come out before that. And we got plenty of GTA 5 content to look forward to. And the rest of this walkthrough, of course. We're almost at the end of it, though. And you know what? Let's rob this truck first. Let's, let's get some extra dinero here. Alright, let's get this bad boy in the van, huh? Colt 45 and two zigzags. Weapon! I don't want to kill you guys. Oh shoot. Oh gosh, I killed them. I mean, I technically killed them. Let's blow this thing open. We got seven grand. Alright, now let's get out of here. Come on, Michael. 
thought you could steal it like GTA Online, but that is not the case. That looks epic. Epicness. Alright, now let's get the hell out of here. And then we're going to meet up with Lester at the strip joint in the next episode where we will plan the heist. We got to do some prep work. That's probably going to be what the next episode is. And then the episode after that will be the heist. And then so forth, so forth. This is the first apartment I ever bought in GTA Online, this one here. I remember it. I don't know why, but it was memorable. And I can't believe we're almost done here. We've done a lot of parts, two episodes a day. And I would really love to know, I know I asked in a previous video, but let me know if you want to see earlier GTA games, like GTA 1, the top-down one, or like even me play GTA 4 all the way through. I think like that, and in addition to normal videos of GTA 5, and maybe even live streams, so like five videos a day. It's a bit tough, but I think I could do it. And let me know if you guys would enjoy that. Let's see what Tracy has to say here. Trace? Daddy, are you okay? Yeah, sure. Why not? Because some guys came to our house with automatic weapons, maybe? I'm dealing with that, honey. You don't need to worry. Money doesn't matter when you're dead, Daddy. Damn, Tracy dropping the advice bomb. Look at that Maserati. Okay, guys. Enough diddy daddling. Enough being sneaky dicky like. We're going to go ahead and end this video. Thank you so much for watching part 52 of the GTA 5 first person mode walkthrough. Be sure to subscribe if you haven't already by hitting that red subscribe button. Subscribe button. Let me. <laughs> I have to enunciate that properly. We're almost at a million subscribers, so I thank you guys so much. And if each one of you actually just recommended one friend to subscribe, we'd be done today. But, of course, do what you like. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching. I hope you have an awesome day, and peace out.